Oh, Heidi, lately, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, get, I still get tweets about you. That a lot of people think you've really come around in, in terms of, of spending and not being as much, you know, raising taxes as much. Are you the right person to be in a, a debate with Mulvaney, or are you ready to switch <laughs> parties at this point? Well, uh, on, on the debt limit, I think I am the right person because I think Mick will have to admit that um, almost $8 trillion of that debt was added during the administration he served in, raising the, uh, the debt of this country over 30 percent. Maybe the people who voted for that ought to actually extend the debt limit. And so this, this game that the Republicans are playing on the debt limit, it, number one, is dangerous. Number two, it... It, it flies in the face of the fact that 30 percent of that debt was done during the Trump administration. What do you think, Mick? It's already been spent. This is the ability to spend money going forward. I hear this all the time. We, we, we have this same song and dance, Joe, every 18 months now as to whether or not it's your debt or my debt. The debt limit is going to be raised. There's no question about it. What you're seeing this morning on funding the government should be uh, educational, which is there's bipartisan support to fund the government. There's also bipartisan support to raise the debt ceiling if you do just those things. As Heidi will tell you, if these bills are clean, what we call clean bills that are just single issue bills, they probably pass fairly easily with bipartisan support. But it's when one party or the other, typically the party in charge, but not always, tries to gain leverage using some, adding something else to the bill that you get in trouble. A clean debt ceiling vote would pass easily in the Senate, and Heidi knows it. I, I, I'm not sure I agree with that. I think that Mick, uh, Mick, I think Mitch is holding it hostage, and I think that um, I, I think you're misreading the tea leaves over in the Senate. I think they want to put maximum pressure on the uh, secondary spending bill, on the reconciliation bill, and they want to leverage a very dangerous tool. I mean, you know, uh, uh, Janet Yellen said uh, the drop dead date is October 18th. That that she's done. After that, she can't use any more extraordinary measures. We need to do this today. I I I, I really think that uh, uh, Mitch McConnell will not do a clean debt limit increase. You know, Joe, I wish everybody had been to the game last night. He went to the game every single year. That game is probably the highlight of bipartisanship. Uh, in the year. I think Heidi used to play. I can't remember or not, but it really is shows that people have friends across the aisle. We could work across the aisle. Um, and if we actually sat down to do something on a bipartisan basis, we could. What Heidi forgets is that the Democrats used leverage to raise the, uh, the spending in 2017. They wanted more money. Everybody uses leverage in Washington, D.C. It's up to the party in charge to sort of step back and say, you know what, let's do it the right way. Let's do it on a bipartisan basis and move forward. We're not going to agree on the $3.5 trillion. You're absolutely right. But when it comes to the basics, funding the government and raising the debt ceiling, there's absolutely bipartisan support in Washington for that if you handle it properly. I, I think the interesting thing that's going on is whether this infrastructure package will pass. And I think everybody's looking at this as if there's not going to be one Republican vote and you have to get every Democrat vote. That's not true. I think you're going to get you know, a fair percentage of Republicans who are going to vote for that infrastructure package because they want to bring back that bridge or that hospital or that you know, project that they've been waiting on. Um, so, so I think Nancy would be smart to advance the infrastructure uh, bill, have a victory for Joe Biden, and build momentum to get this uh, second reconciliation done. And, and Nick, I, I, okay. I, I think you, she's probably right, Joe. I think yeah, she's probably and, and right. Could it pass the day, do you think, Mick? I mean, you still have, you, you know people. You know one people point, that know people. I, I think here's the sticking point of the $1.2 trillion, because I think Senator Heidkamp is right in that there is Republican support for it. Um, even though it's not all infrastructure, there's a good bit of infrastructure, and there's probably half real infrastructure and half junk, but that's pretty good for Washington, D.C. But they want to make sure that it is a standalone piece of legislation. When I talk to my Republican friends, they're like, look, if, if I knew it was just the infrastructure bill, I could support it. If somehow it contributes in some fashion to the $3.5 trillion, which is actually not the right number, it's probably north of five, but if it contributes to that larger social spending bill passing, then I don't think I can support it. So if, if Ms. Pelosi wanted to really pass the infrastructure, she should come out and say, look, we're going to deal with these two things separately. But from the very beginning, they've been tied together. And that is what's sort of giving Republicans hesitancy about supporting the, uh, the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. The, the, the infrastructure bill, the, the one that's being considered in the House, is a baked cake. It's not going to change. It's yes or no. 
And so at the end of the day, Republicans are going to have to make up their mind. Both United States senators from North Dakota supported that bipartisan bill. I think that it would be awfully hard for our congressman not to support it, given the support that it has right here at home among various construction right. industries and people who work in construction. So I think I think we've got to wait to see how many Republicans, and I think those Republicans could in fact uh, give the margin of victory for the right. infrastructure package today.